Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how Java applications can be run in IBM containers which makes use of the SQL DB service available in IBM Bluemix. Let us start the demo by logging into Bluemix. Click the login button. Provide the user ID and password and then click the sign in button. The Bluemix dashboard is coming up. So the demo application is going to make use of the SQL DB Bluemix service. So let us create an app to act as a bridge. Click create app. Click web. Click liberty for Java. Click continue and provide the app name. So the app name what we are going to use here is employee database. Click finish. The app is getting created. Application is getting started. You can see the message. Your application is staging. The application is running now. So let us go back to the dashboard and click use services or API. To log, click the SQL database service available under the data management. The SQL database service page. Select the application to be bound and provide the service name as EMP DB and then click create. The service is getting created. The application has to be restaged to use the new service. Click restage. So the application is staging now. Application is running now. We need Docker and the Cloud Foundry and the Cloud Foundry plugin to build a Docker image and push it to the private registry. So let us check our configuration. Give Docker version. So we have the docker version 1.7. We need a docker version greater than 1.6. So let's verify the CF version. We have 6.12. And let's see whether the plugin has been installed successfully. So give CF plugin. So we have the IBM container plugin installed successfully. Let us log in to the Cloud Foundry using CF login. Provide the email address. the password so authentication is happening authentication is ok select the org so we have successfully logged into cf login now let us do the cfic login so it is authenticating with the registry at the registry.ng.bluemix.net we have successfully logged in to the CFIC login and it provides information on how the CLA can be used with the IBM containers let us build a docker image which we are going to push to our private registry so before that let us review the docker file so give notepad docker file the docker file is now open in a notepad so we are going to use the WebSphere Liberty image available in the docker hub and then we are going to copy the application to the drop-ins folder and then we are going to accept the license using the environment variable so now let us build the docker image give docker build minus t registry dot ng dot bluemix dot net slash kavi which is the namespace name and then slash employee db is the name of the image then click dot so the image has been successfully built so now we need to push the image to the private registry specify docker push and then the image name registry.ng.bluemix.net slash kvi slash employee db the image is getting pushed the image has been successfully pushed so let us go back to the dashboard and start a container click start containers in the container catalog, we could see all the images available in the private registry. 
click the employee db image which we have created the container name we are going to provide the container name as employee database and provide the sizes tiny which is 512 mb memory and 32 gb storage so select a public ip address and specify the public ports 9080 then click advanced option so here we are going to bind the application which we have created earlier so we'll select the employee database application and then click create so the container is getting created container is getting built now container is running now so we have the public ip address so let us use this ip address and launch the application let us go to the browser provide the application url the application has been launched successfully click database information so it provides the database host name database port database name database user database password and gdbc url click create employee table it says the table created successfully click add employee to add employee information provide the employee name provide the employee id provide the employee age then provide the department name and provide the salary of the employee then click add the employee information has been added successfully click list employees to list the employee details click drop employee table and the table has been dropped successfully in this demo we have seen how our docker image is built by adding the java application to the websphere liberty docker image and push to the private registry on bluemix and a container is started using that image and bind to the sql db service on bluemix the application reads the sql db service connection information from the vcap services environment variable and accesses the sql db service thanks for watching the demo